Last year, I made a couple of videos about buying stuff, uh, mainly woodworking tools from Timu. Well, the initial craze of Timu uh, and the things they had, you know, bought them all up. And now I wanted to make a updated 2024 video kind of going over the type of things that I purchase now. Okay, so this is the contents of one purchase that I made. And the main thing was, is I was looking at buying a fence. And those fences can be ridiculously expensive. But this here has the track on the back that you can attach. And then has the front where you can put stops. And it has the groove that you can actually put in a ruler. So I'll try to put up the prices that I paid for this stuff. The one thing that I find bad about Timu is that the links constantly change. I got this uh, T-Track and then this is a um, tape measure. And now it's already got your adhesive on the back and it's got the inch and the millimeter. So as you can see, these are both a little over 40 inches long, but the numbers go left to right and right to left. And that way, if I want to set this in the middle, I can go ahead and uh, have it set up for stops on either side. A good, another good thing to buy from places like Timu is stuff like this that you just don't see in the US. Here is a respirator type uh, mask. So I haven't seen this style of mask. So it's got a nice clear front on it, but then it also comes with a 2.5 particulate, which is what you want, um, filters that go right into the bottom of this. And it's supposed to be anti-fog for whenever you're sanding and got a lot of dust around, you get a full view. So not only do you have your eye protection, but you also have your lung protection all in one. So let me see what this is. Don't even remember. Um, okay, so this is one of those little drill presses. So uh, we'll put this together and check it out. But uh, it's got a bearing. It's got your little bars. The only thing is, is that it is made out of plastic. So I don't know just how you know, precision it's going to be, but it was again, only a couple of dollars. These are the things you have to watch out for when you're purchasing from Timu. In the listing, they had pictures and a video of a aluminum little drill press, but they also did have the plastic one in the listing. So I did get what was in there, but if you didn't watch closely, you may have been expecting to build aluminum. I, I would normally have sent this back, got my money back, except for I'm gonna do a video comparing how to purchase from these sites. These little infrared thermometers, these are uh, great little things to have. I've got several of them. I actually got a fluke one over there, and the uh, fluke one is, I don't know, four or $500, but, um, It'd be interesting to see how well this co uh, compares to the fluke one. Okay, so something I noticed about this, you have to have a screwdriver to push in and to lock to get to the batteries, which I actually like that because I have a tendency, especially with a cheap tool like this, sometimes just to throw them around and then, um, you know, uh, the little battery compartments will pop off and get lost. So how accurate does this need to be? So I'm gonna just shoot straight down here. Okay, I'm gonna kinda, of, uh, so that's right there on my uh, table and it's coming up 75.4 degrees. Um, I'm kinda of trying to shoot this about the same. Uh, and that came up at 75.1. So I don't know which one's more accurate. I, I think probably just the movement because as I'm moving around, I got 74.9, 74.4. Hell, that one came up 74.3. So, I mean, there's a little fluctuations in the temperatures, but I think for general purpose of what I use to kind of get an idea, I don't need it to be accurate within plus or minus one tenth of a degree. I just want to know if it's 100 degrees or is it 80 degrees or 70 degrees um, for a lot of stuff. And I think this will work fantastic for that. If you do need a super high quality precision one, I can say, you know, this here is the Fluke uh, 561. So this is a pair of like water pump pliers, 
Cobra style pliers. So these are 12 inch, these are 10 inch. Now the heads look very similar. They have the push button that locks into place, which I like. And, uh, you know, so this pair, I forget how much they were, probably about $50, $60. This pair was under $10. But what's the difference? Well, right off the bat, one thing I can see is if you notice the handles will close all together and this one actually has a space in between them and that way if you put your fingers in there you don't pinch your fingers um, that's something that uh, they definitely uh, market and make sure on the Knipex however this wasn't advertised as a Knipex it was advertised as like I think water pump pliers and so we'll try them out but as far as weight they're very similarly weighted the jaws are very similarly shaped. Now, I'm sure that this is not your German steel. It's going to be Chinese steel. So the teeth, which are pretty sharp right now, are probably not going to hold up as long. The teeth in here are not quite as fine, but it does actually move really smooth. And, you know, overall, it's a decent pair of pliers. A pair of Knipex is not, so if you're expecting this to get a regular pair of pliers these are good pliers if you're trying to get a pair of knipex you're not getting that so it's all in what you um your expectation you know you can definitely get you know a more economical tool it's not going to be quite as nice just you know the little small things the finer teeth the you know anti-pinch and um well this one here we could pass down to my grandkids and it'll probably still be in great shape. This one I'll probably wear out in a decade and throw it in the trash because, you know, it was five, ten dollars. And every time I order, I always order some little stuff like this because some of these things I have found that were actually really cool and I really liked. This is just some 3M tape here and this is basically just a thing to wrap a cord around and then you can you know um, snap it in right here in the center and it'll hold the cord up so i like you know these things are like a dollar fifty cents um and i always try to get a couple of them because some of these things i found that just work fantastic and then i'll order a bunch of them you know once i find the ones that are good some of them aren't so much but it's you know so cheap that you can go ahead and if you're placing an order anyway go ahead and get some little stuff like this and you just never know how it's going to turn out all right i have no idea of what this thing is but it's in like a oh so these are aluminum welding rods here so um i was wondering why they were in a um, airproof uh, container here so we will check those out and see uh, if these work great and if they do i'll be ordering more of them and i will put a separate video up on letting you know how well these work once again, whenever I'm placing an order, I'll always order some random stuff. And this here is a whole set of step drill bits. If anybody has ever bought step drill bits, you know that these things can be outrageously expensive. And one of the things that I liked about this one was that they were all in standard measurements. And even though with step drill bits, to me, are not precision drill bits, it's nice that these are marked in your standard measurements okay so i think this stuff is all maybe the same um or it's the same style i just ordered from different sellers because some of these pictures will look very similar and then uh some of them will be different and that way i can try to find you know which ones are the quality ones and which ones are not because not everything is quality which is the good thing about Timu is that you get the free returns. Now you only get one free return per order, but you know, if you go through, you open everything up, check it out. And then that's all you're going to need is the one return because most of the time you're going to be able to find out if this stuff is any good or not right off the bat from, you know, when you open it up, you know, you can tell as soon as you open it, whether or not this is going to be a good piece or if it's going to be just absolute junk. So what these all are is to go with this track that I had got. So I was wanting to make a, a nice type of uh, system 
to uh, go with uh, maybe a router. So I'll cut out a notch here and then I can put my tape across the top. What these are gonna do is, I need to get an uh, Allen wrench to open up, but these will go in and lock into there. And then I can have a T-track in my table. And so this will lock into my table and then I can move it forwards and backwards. So I've got one for each side. And again, I had ordered from two different companies just to see you know, if they were gonna be exactly the same. And everything looks pretty much exactly the same, except for one's a little bit darker red than the other. When you start ordering this billet aluminum stuff, be aware there's two different types of tracks. You got the T-track, which is like the two pieces on the right. And then on the left is this what the fence is made out of. And the tracks are narrower. And so if you see on the center clamp right there, uh, uh, coming up are the two little silver tabs. Those are the type that go in the track on the left. And then the colored pieces are the ones that go on the track on the right. I actually ordered the wrong one, but that one's on me. But, you know, just be aware that not all tracks are the same. So make sure you get the proper holes downs for the tracks that you have. Now, this package I just got in today, um, and I haven't ordered anything from Timu in a while, but sometimes you just need those little supplies. And one of the reasons I ordered was for this alien tape. This stuff runs me $10 on Amazon, and I think I paid about $1.30 a roll for it. Um, I've got little wire connectors here. You know, these are your good, you know, shielded wire connectors. Um, you know, you, they do have the super cheap connectors. These are the little bit more expensive ones. So you're insulated because they've got the real good um, insulation around them, not just a little cheap. Uh, and then it's got the male and the female in this pack here. This here is little wire ties. And I got these in black and in clear. And if you got like your cell phone wire, you need to run around your car, you need to, you know, put a little small wire. So I've got them in black and clear. Again, you're not going to find stuff like this anywhere as close to the price that you're going to get buying it straight from China. Thing, these are just some little tweezers. You know, it's always nice to have some type of little tweezer around. And I could get this whole set. And I mean, you know, we'll see how strong they are, whether or not we'll be able to pick up stuff. Um, they're not going to be, you know what? I'm going to say these are probably not going to be any good just because... They've been so easy, but you know what? That's the thing about Timu is I can send these back for free and I get my money back on them. You know, you're always cleaning up. It's got like a little scotch pad on one side, a little sponge on the other. Now these are not the highest quality and this is the type of sponge that you'll scrub one thing with and throw it in the trash. So if you're, you know, got something really nasty, these work out really good because again, they're so ridiculously cheap. You know, the only problem is, is they take up room. But other than that, you know, they work really good for one-time use sponges. And the same as the sponges. You know, these are like your uh, magic eraser sponges. And I've got some of these before. And they're very hard to tell apart from the original. They're like a micro bubble. Now, when you are scrubbing with them, they seem to wear out a little bit quicker than like your name brand uh, magic erasers, more like the ones you get from the dollar store. But again, you know, I mean, I got a pack of these, uh, the two packs, basically. I don't even remember how many they are, but for probably cheaper than what I could buy two or three of them here locally. Everything on Timu has the um, dimensions on it, but this is a pre-masked tape so if you're painting or whatever you can go ahead and uh, tape it off you just um, grab it and what i'm a little disappointed with is that it's only like a uh, half inch instead of a three quarter inch tape but once again that's my bad for not really paying attention it says right here 15 uh, centimeter but um and then it folds out so you know it's it is what it is 
uh, uh, these are just ridiculously cheap and the ones I had gotten previously had plastic and I wanted to try the paper ones and I think these will work good in some instances better than the plastic ones and but that just shows you you need to double check your measurements and all right so here's another one of those again these are just kind of um you know the, the items like you would grab next to the register just impulse buys but um this is a microfiber towel little washcloth i mean it's actually strong i can't rip it um you can use them and throw them away if you want to however these feel like they would be good enough to be washed and reused all right there's the last box in here i have no idea what it is oh now i do so these are some diamond sharpening stones so what i have seen with a lot of these diamond sharpening stones is that they don't have a ton of diamond on them so they work for the first few times you sharpen on them and then they wear out but at the same time you get a whole i got a whole set of them here for a little bit of nothing so i can use these and then once they get to where they're not working anymore i can throw them out and buy some new ones it's not a big deal if that's what you're expecting but if you're trying to compare this to one that's thirty dollars a piece and this one is three dollars a piece no this three dollar ones won't outperform a thirty dollar one you can see there's still a lot of really good deals you can get on timu i like to order my supplies there so if there's something that you find that you order uh, over and over again because it's such a good deal put it down in the comments help me out help your uh, fellow woodworker out and until next time i hope everybody has a wonderful afternoon 